Oh, she is not happy. Hell, I'm gonna be passing these to get parts. Oh, she is not happy. Hell, I'm gonna be passing these to get parts. Oh, she is not happy. Hell, I'm gonna be Welcome, welcome, welcome back again to another video, part three of this interview. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, people, to help other people to see this channel. Let us get into it without any more talking. Let us start cooking and get it done. Let's go. Actually, you don't have to be looking too much. The same way you can see if a man is cut by how he's wear what he's wearing, you can see he is buff because he's wearing those tight shirt. You don't have to look too much to see he has muscle or he has a chest. It's the same way for the woman. So you can you you can use your demeaning um, words as you mentioned uh, in your unnecessary trash talk, woman. Because it's not doing any good for you right now, but it makes you look more stupid. You don't have to look too deep to see any of this thing because these women are already dressing so you can see everything anyways. Maybe they should put on clothes instead of walking naked. Call 215-515-3481. I'm not this one, I'm not a Christian. And but I just I think everybody's upset with his tone and, and how he speaks bluntly. And I think it, 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 it needs, we need to change anyway. Everybody wants the same old thing and everybody keeps making excuses. But come as you are, you can't keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. So I, I agree with the brother. And I think that everybody's just worried about his tone and how he speaks. And like the brother said, review the whole thing. Don't just look at uh, a, a, a little part of it. Exactly. Look at the whole speech. We'll go there and find out about it. Gotcha. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for calling. All right, yeah. We have John from North Philly. John, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing wonderful, man. Uh, QDZ, a.k.a. Quincy Harris. Morning. What's, what's going on? Uh, nothing's going on. I just want to commend you, first of all, for having Brother Gino on. A lot of people don't touch it. I've been mean, even going viral for 23 years. This ain't nothing new. Mm -hmm. The story is not changing. That's good. It's the same. It's the same. And he's been saying this for 20-something years. He's been going viral for 20-something years. And I agree with him wholeheartedly. The church is, is, is messed up. So, well, thank I just you. Go ahead. No, no, no. What are you going to say? I said, I just commend Gino for just sticking to that script for all these years. Because he's been getting ridiculed for all these years. He's been getting shut down for all these years. And his story is not changing. Our communities are getting worse and worse because these law by night churches are getting this paper. Give me the loop. Give me the loop. It ain't nothing changing. It ain't nothing changing. And I just, I just love Gino Dennis. I just don't go there because I know it requires a lot of change. And I ain't ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you for calling, John. Thank you for your honesty. 
We have Rosalie from North Philly. What's up, Rosalie? Oh, good morning, Kim. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? We have Pastor Jennings here. Good morning. Yes, Pastor Jennings. You know what? I agree with Pastor Jennings. Oh, because he talking about his words are harsh, but you know how harsh hell is? You better get to know it. <laughs> I mean, even when I was a whore before I was saved, I knew. Do you know how harsh hell is, young woman in the black shirt? Ah, uh, exactly. Come to church. Okay, what, 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 we gotta uh, rewind yeah, that. what what uh qualifies you for being a, a former whore? I I think everybody well, I, in the, Because she was. I was in the street doing things that I shouldn't be doing, Duh. wearing things to get the attention from men who meant me no good. Mm -hmm. But I, I would still stumble in the church. You know, for some well, I know what the reason was. But once I got to church and because I can't change it. Only the Holy Spirit can change you. That's right. So if you go to a church and the Holy Spirit is not there, you will remain the same. Mm -hmm. So you can come as you are. A church is a hospital for sick people. So when you go to the hospital, you get well. So it's if the Holy to. Spirit is not in the place where you worship, you won't get well. That's right. So you need the Holy Spirit to change you. To make you not want to look like a whore or a And the, the girl in the black shirt does not like that. You want to present yourself to God. Not to <laughs> a, a man in the street, a trick in the street. You present yourself to God. So you dress accordingly. Exactly. The Holy Spirit can change you. Pastor needs to give harsh <laughs> oh, words to people. You know how happy. harsh <laughs> hell is going to be? Pastor needs to give harsh <laughs> oh, words to people. You know how happy. harsh <laughs> hell is going to be? That's the name to get hard for people. You know how hard hell is gonna be? That's the name to get hard for people. You know how hard hell is gonna be? Gotcha. But thank you, Rosalie. And we're glad. And we're glad you're not a whore anymore. No more. No more. But I used to be one. Yep. Believe that. But the Holy Spirit changed me. Thank you very much. And the girl in the black shirt does not like because now she has accountability to face. Hey, if they were to invite uh, these women to the White House, do you think they would dress like whore, whorish way or modestly? Think about that. Think about that. You're welcome. All right. All right. We have Evie from Yaden. What's going on, Evie? Hi, Mr. Harris, how are you? Amazing. We have Pastor Gino Jennings here. Yes, and I heard uh, Mr. he was making a good morning, Pastor Jennings. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, now let me ask you this, if you don't mind. Yes, ma'am. Uh, in the Bible, God states, come as you are, right? No. So, no. Can I okay. interject? Wait, I didn't no cut you off. Wait a minute, please. Wait. Be little, little. Wait, you just told him. I, I can ask you a question. In the Bible, God says to come as you are, right? Then he wants to give you an answer, and you're saying that he's cutting you off? The foolishness. Wow. So if you don't have a question, say, let me ask the full question. If you say, if the Bible says something like this, is any that story what you mean, right? That's the other question. So, we are not know how to have a conversation. Yes, sir. Totally respect, okay? Now, I'm just yeah. asking you. Wow. Do, it, do you see, like, where, where I'm trying to go? If no. somebody has a pair of jeans and they don't have a dress, or somebody pants to sag, okay, for instance, an inmate might just come home from prison when it comes to your church. An they inmate? They give him a brown inmate jacket. And they, they say, you know what, I want to get my soul saved. I've never been living right. I want to come to Christ. If that's all that man has to wear to church, and he comes up in your church, you're going to refuse and tell him he can't come here because he's just getting out of prison? No, you accept him as he is. Because you don't know who you're passing by according to what you see in your eyesight. That's judgmental. And God didn't judge anyone. Can First of all, we don't turn. Okay, let me actually talk about that because she just made the stupidest argument ever. So, you want to use an example that is 0.00001% chance of happening and try to make it look like it's the norm. 
an inmate just left prison and you think the first thing they're going to do is go to a church? So you don't think when he goes home, he has no clothes, no other clothes at all? What? Second of all, Jesus does not accept you as you are. He receives you as you are. That's true. Not accept you. Because if that's the case, he also has to accept our sinful nature. He does not accept our sinful nature. Man, people nowadays. Let's move on. Oh, one way. When they come to church, regardless of what they have on. Uh, and from that perspective, that's not even what I'm dealing with. Right. That's not, uh, that's not what I was dealing with even when I was teaching. What I'm dealing with is the way our women look today who already claim they're saved. We're not dealing with anyone who only have one piece of clothing to wear. The stage of the churches today, if you go into churches, regardless of practically any church, a Christian woman and a woman that's not saved are not supposed to look the same, act the same, be the same. The Bible speaks plain. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. So if old things have passed away, not only my character changed, but my appearance should change. Explain to me why would any decent woman want to walk the street with her breasts hanging out? Why is it all right to do? Why would any decent woman want to walk the streets with shorts? So short, everything in the shorts is out the shorts. What is so decent about it? To have your 10 year old daughter, your 12 year old daughter, your 13 year old daughter oh, look like a prostitute. Happy. What is so decent about it? To have your 10 year old daughter, your 12 year old daughter, your 13 year old daughter oh, look like a prostitute. Happy. What is so decent about it? What is so decent about the women half naked in the club and you come into church and they look the same way on the choir, on the uh, playing the instruments, being ushers? What is so decent about it? You mean to tell me we're living in a society that's upset with me because I'm encouraging our women to put clothes on? That's the height of ignorance. A lot of women right. are calling in and they're mad because they're like, you're only going at, and I know you, you talked about this earlier, you touched it earlier. Mm -hmm. What what do the men, what, what do you say about the men and their opinions and how they act? I am very adamant about the men when it comes down to respecting the women. We believe that the man should respect the woman. Do not verbally abuse the woman. And don't, by any means, be... That's actually the part that I think he is going wrong right now. Um, because right now, it is the women who are abusing men verbally and physically. But hey, when the men speak out against it, when the men speak, what do they say? Deal with it. That's the only part so far that he said that is not totally correct. Yes, men do abuse women verbally and physically. But women are most likely the ones to verbally abuse men and physically abuse them because they know if the men retaliate, he can go to prison. So they abuse that power that they have from the system it's not because they are better or they are they can actually do something but the men know if they retaliate they'll be in trouble with the government so that part he is wrong on that but let's move on eat the woman you can't even stay in our church if you're physically beating your woman we believe that you should be arrested and you should be locked up. Except if you don't have a child by a woman, have enough decency to take care of the child. Most of our young men today, they're making babies. But it's not even in them. It's not, they act like it's not even in their character to take care what they have. So a lot of these women are what? They are single mothers. And they have become mother and father. And yet these type of men, many of them, still go to church. And these type of issues are not being addressed, period. So no, we encourage our brothers, by all means, don't be out here with your pants hanging down, showing your drawers. I, I, we're living in a society where this is so norm to see grown men. Hey man, when I came up, man, our, our pants was up. Our underwear, that's why it's called underwear. They should be under your clothes, not advertised. Mm -hmm. Got you. We have, uh, Kay, I know Kay, you had a couple questions before the break. Well, I just had a comment about verbal abuse. Calling women whores and prostitutes at the pulpit is a form of verbal abuse. I would just like to say that. Women do it I too. Know. But what are your uh, female clergies? What do they think about your your remarks about women? 
the women, I have mixed reaction internationally. There's a lot of women that agrees that, yeah, well, he's calling a spade a spade. But he has... Or degrading. Do, do women find your remarks degrading? Oh, yes, I'm fine at degrading. How about uh, you, Kay? Do you find his marks It, it really degrading? doesn't... Uh, what? Well, my opinion would be, I don't want it to, you know, degrade you or say anything that would offend you, but I don't care what he thinks. So it doesn't matter Whoa. to me. What? Well, see, I respect that. She don't care what I think. But okay. let me ask a question. Uh, do, do you have a daughter? I do not. You don't have a daughter. But my mo my grandmother, may she rest in peace, is... We don't uh, care about your grandmother. Ministry, Leslie, Lillian it's Fyler. you. Okay. Uh, if you had a daughter, would you rather have your daughter walk on the street half naked with a breast hanging out? Of course not. Why I mean, not? I, I'm why a not? Woman, I'm a why woman not? certain morals and values, so I know how to dress. What? I know women oh, really? are oh. to do. But I think that if you're going to judge a woman and she's in... She's at oh, your church and the she decides to go again. there, and then you're criticizing her and demeaning her. That's not a no, form of helping someone. Uh, basically, I, no, I, I, I totally disagree. Criticism, there's constructive criticism. Constructive that, criticism is one thing, but to criticize and demean is different. Well, if you calling an individual by what they project to be, how is that demeaning? That is not by, demeaning. By how they dress? How do you know what they are on the inside? No, basically, I am not saying that they are a whore because of the way they dress. I'm talking the about appearance. the appearance. If I came in here, let me make it a good example. Okay. Again. No. Uh, again, if I came in here and no, she she understands what you are saying. She doesn't like it because now she has to face accountability. Like accountability to women is kryptonite, and they hate accountability. She understands perfectly what you're saying, but she has to do it because she want she does not want to change. And she wants to make that same false lies, that same false information to other women so they can be just like her. Now, does, is she even married? Probably not. But let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Rings on every finger like the bling bling preachers and had my hair process hanging down, you know, and this loud blood red suit and purple shoes and an apricot shirt we would judge you bright of yellow course. tie would you really believe i'm a man of god or would you believe i'm just a straight up pimp and just <laughs> winning church business to pimp i'm gonna think you're a pimp exactly. exactly let me ask you something because we have b expo coming up next sunday i mean next saturday i, I hope you can come uh it's 15 dollars. i mean i think you have that money um <laughs> to you see she's she's okay with that kind of analogy as long as about the men she's okay with it but when it's the women she thinks it's demeaning degrading let me tell you something woman it is not demeaning to call a woman but why she is projecting it's facts get this straight but let's keep it moving you can get them at rnbphilly.com. We have Albie Shore, Christopher Williams, Dougie Fresh, Roland Martin, Ernest Pugh, mm -hmm. uh, and we have Erica Campbell. Okay. E Erica Campbell's on our sister station, Praise 107.9. Mm -hmm. she, she does mornings as well. And she, you know, she's a gospel singer from Mary Mary, and mm -hmm. she dresses like this. Do you have a problem the way Erica Campbell, a woman of the Lord, dresses? Well, if I uh, didn't know that she said she was a Christian, by looking at her clothes, hugging her body, I wouldn't think so. I saw how... how uh, closely you were staring at that uh, <laughs> picture well, as well. He has to look. I, I wouldn't think she's a Christian at all. That's a stupid comment. He, if you want him to look at something, he has to look to see what he is looking at. So what? Was that supposed to be like a trick question? He can, was supposed to look? He has to look at the picture to see the different angles to see how the dress is on her to make a rightful assessment. What can Anyways, let's move on. At all. Is if a woman is modest, she's not dressing in a manner that appears to be sexual. Exactly. Like she's drawing sexual attention to herself. A woman body is sacred. The Bible speaks plain. Your body is the temple of the living God. And if our body, whether we are man or woman, if our body is a temple to, for the living God, then we should conduct our body in that manner. And when we walk in the public and people look at us, 
our women should not be on display. If you look at advertisement, what do they show you to get the product first? Naked a women. female. To buy a soda, you got a female Naked in a woman. suit. To get a car, you get a female in a bathing woman. suit. Our women have been displayed as looking at a sex object. So therefore, when they buy things, they think it make it look sexy. Listen, God made you to be beautiful. And you don't have to go to Walmart to buy it. Exactly. Of beautiful, we have the B Expo. It's going down. I mean, this is just, it's a, it's a lot. We, we have to, you know, curve this conversation right here. We can continue <laughs> the conversation on QHM show. But speaking of B Expo, uh, hopefully you'll come. Hopefully you'll no, come. Don't come. It's next week. It's next Saturday. Next don't Saturday. Come. I'll be out of town. Well, have your, your body clone or, or your <laughs> congregation come out because we'll have Roland Martin. We'll have Erica Campbell, mm -hmm. who you are a fan of now, Dougie Fresh, <laughs> Kendra, the family soul. Actually, we want to give out tickets right now. Call in number 10. Give us a call. 215. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop it right there. Oh, man. Let me actually talk about this one. I'm, I'm going to read this again to finish this topic right here. And I saw many traveling in this broad road. Actually, let me actually go back up here. So there are two roads. There are two roads. There is the word of Jesus Christ right here. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in their at. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way that lead to destruction. No, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. These roads are distinct, separate in opposite directions. One leads to eternal life, the other to eternal death. I saw the distinction between these roads, also the distinction between the companies traveling them the roads are opposite one is broad and smooth the other narrow and rugged so the parties that travel them are opposite in character in life in dress and in conversation and if you keep on reading on the second paragraph and if you pause the video and you read the third paragraph and you pause the video and the one in the third paragraph you're gonna see those that were talking those that are supposed to be the Christian who says that they are walking towards the heaven they were supposedly saying they are dead to the world but were they really dead to the world? No. Why? Because they were calling for the others to have the same, meaning the Jesus Christ lyrics, upon their garments. Yet they were in the broad way. Yet they professed to be of the number who were traveling the narrow way. And those around them would say, there is no distinction between us. There is no distinction between us. We are alike. We dress alike. We talk alike. And we act alike. So, there is, there is no difference between us. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop it right there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this channel. And please keep it respectful if you want me to be able to see it. This was TOV, the Open Veil TV. Until then, I'm out.